Hey yo, what's good everybody? Welcome back. And today, you already know the deal. We're gonna be summoning on Valentine King. He just dropped. Um, I gave my initial thoughts when I was using the OG Small Wings King a few videos ago. And I'm still gonna say he's probably gonna be good, but he's not gonna be meta changing because debuff related teams just don't exist when Meliodas exists. You can't debuff Eskimo once he dies. The meta just doesn't cater to debuff related teams at the moment. So I'm still gonna say he's not gonna be crazy. So should you summon? I mean, it's a 50-50. One 50% being if you wanna have a little bit of fun in PvP, because he is usable, he's just not in every scenario. Or on the other side of the 50%, he's not usable, he's not meta. That's pretty much what it comes down to. So yeah, we're gonna go ahead and summon. We got 200 gems, hopefully we pull them. I'm not chasing copies. So if we don't pull them, I will buy the other ones and you know, do the normal. So yeah, be sure to like, subscribe, and we're on the road to 500. We're almost there, 25 subs away, and then we could do another giveaway. So, you know, you know if y'all wanted to see a giveaway, just, just hit the subscribe button, you know? Now, let's see, what exactly are we looking at on the banner? Valentine Lane, I don't need... No, I think she's 5'6". I don't remember, actually, at all. Sorry, someone walked in my room. Uh, yeah, Valentine Lane, um, no, not really needed, I don't think. I think she, I might need one copy, whatever. Jenna, I need copies. Zaneri, I need copies. Easton, I don't. I probably need copies, but I don't remember. Derriere, definitely needed. Hawk Ozzel, I needed. Hawk and Elizabeth, I think they're 6'6. Six, six. I'm not entirely sure. I know Summer Merlin's 6'6. Six, six. Green Molasco is like 1'6 still, so I need that. And Summer Deanne is back. That's nice. And I definitely need copies for her. She is 2'6 or 3'6 right now. One of the two. So overall, the banner is not good, but it's not bad either. Very, you know, event and catered units. All of these units are useful in PVE activities, at least, except for like Easton and the Hawk and Elizabeth. Everyone else is pretty much useful to an extent. But all right, let's go ahead and see what he's got going on in this passive. Now that I can actually read it and see what it actually does. For each fairy ally. Okay, so it is fairies. Because I was getting misconceptions of it's fairies, it's all humans, not all humans, it's all people, it's all sins. Like, I was getting a lot of different definitions of his passive. So, yeah, it is fairies. Increase the hero's attack rate stats by 10%, so 30%. And damage dealt by 30%. For each applicable ally, which are 7 deadly sins. Okay. For each 7 deadly sin, increases those allies' base stats by 8%. Increases the hero's damage dealt by 30% when attacking a debuffed enemy. So you can run him with full fairies and get the 30% attack increase and damage dealt. Or you can run him with sins and get... Well... He said the Pagal allies' base stats are increased by 8% for each. So... 24%? So you can either get 24% base stats if you run a full sins team. Or 30% attack related stats and damage dealt if you're on a full fairy team. I mean, okay. That's neat. That's not bad. And then again, he has the single target poison, which is just bad in general. He has the weak point. Not good at all. I mean, no, that's not true. It is a good card, but since he has a single target debuff, it's not good. Does this eventually turn into AoE? No. <clears throat> so, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's not the very best kit ever. It's actually the most retarded kit I've ever seen in a very long time. And then he has his Abyss Ultimate. Alright, let's go ahead and stop wasting time. We've been here for four minutes now. Let's summon, see if we can pull King, hopefully early. <clears throat> we wasted enough time for a video sake. Just in case we pull him early, huh? Okay, we do get something on the first multi. It's been a while since I pulled the character on the first multi. So let's just see. Is this going to be that day? We got a hawk, so it's probably not. It's very slim chance. No other, like, guarantee animation. We get the kill. <clears throat> it's potentially two. Like, very slim chance, but... Okay. A lot of gold, so hopefully one of those golds are Liz or L Melly. If it's not, then it's gonna be a fun time. <clears throat> okay, that's Elizabeth out of the way. Now this character can be anything. Uh -huh. 
It's somewhere towards the end, right? Okay. Nope. And... Beautiful. We don't gotta do anything else. <laughs> right, yes, we're done. I'm not going for gobbies. I don't care. <laughs> we got him in one multi. That's all I needed in life. Yep, we're done. <laughs> I'm not chasing copies at all. We did one multi, and we're done. And that means we can save up for the next banner, which is probably gonna be a festival character. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> I will be making PvP videos and see what happens. Yep, I will see you on the next video. I saved 200 gems. You love to see it. I mean, since I'm here, right, I might as well just go about the new outfits. I will not be getting these outfits. The only outfit I'm purchasing is Escanor's because I do not have his Max Cosmetics. I'm not getting the ends. I have her Max Cosmetics and I don't feel like wasting my time. Like, at all. And then I'm definitely not getting Melly's because I have Max Cosmetics. I'm just not going to do it. Even though it looks good, the purple actually fits him really well. I'm not going to do it. So I'm not going to be making videos for these two in terms of their cosmetics. It's just going to be Escanor. And that's about it. So, oh, you're bringing back this skin. Just that by itself? That's weird. Okay, yeah, we're done here. The summons are all over. We're, we got what he came for, and that's how we're gonna end it. So, I will see you on the next video. Peace.